Hunter Overlord scanning for hostiles now. Not today, scum. Escort one to Overlord. Spring the trap. We have you now. Target locked. Target acquired. Target destroyed. Another kill, and another step closer to victory. Let's regroup. Commander. Malgus. Your assistance with the 38th Fleet's operations has been exemplary. But I am now recalling them for a special assignment. Empress Asina invites you to join a special meeting of the Dark Council aboard Viking Space Dock. We will discuss the details of the operation there. Few outside of the Sith have ever been invited to such a meeting. Such is our respect for your strength. I'm glad I could help prove the value that non-Sith bring to the Empire. You and those like you may yet teach the Empire the full strength that it possesses. We await your arrival. Malga's out. The Meridian Complex. A state-of-the-art Republic shipyard. It nears completion on the planet Corellia. My spies report that it can produce ships faster than any of our shipyards and at half the energy cost. That hardly seems possible. Based on the technical readouts Zarian has acquired, I assure you it is entirely possible. Perhaps it is even a conservative estimate. Malgus, Krovos, your plan for destroying this facility? By securing our frontline positions and withdrawing all but the most crucial warships, we have formed an assault armada of unrivaled size and power. Under our command, this mighty fleet will burn the Republic's new shipyard to ash and destroy any hope of victory that might remain among their people. Is the shipyard your only target? Do you have plans for the rest of the planet? We may pursue additional targets of opportunity, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have gathered enough fuel ships to carry our fleet to Corellia without stopping. Our enemies are in no such position. The Republic will scramble reinforcements from all corners of the galaxy, Wherever they stop to resupply, we must disable or destroy them. We have already identified one likely refueling point for the Republic ships. The planet Onderon. Conveniently, I am already engaged in operations to undermine Republic control of that planet. However, my forces are meager, to say the least. But with the aid of the Alliance and its commander, I am confident that I can successfully delay any Republic reinforcements that pass by. You said you're already on Onderon. What exactly are you doing there? The planet is a treasure trove of resources, and its king is equal parts greedy and suggestible. A worthy target. I can explain the details upon your arrival. Excellent. Keep your spies in place, Jarian. We must know everything about the shipyard and its defenses. Anathel, Varon. Be ready to provide any assistance that Malgos or Krovos should request. This operation is the Empire's top priority. Understood. My logistical networks are entirely at their disposal, Empress. Then this meeting is complete. Fancy meeting you here. 
Major Henri, are you joining the mission on Onderon? Nah, I pulled off Aaron's operation this time. We're headed for some mined out rock called Mekshar, but word is we might catch up groundside on Corellia. Everyone with a strong arm or sharp aim is heading for Corellia. Should be quite a battle. If you're there, the rest of us probably won't even get the chance to lift a finger. Major Anri, I need to speak with the Commander. Alone. Of course, my lord. Please excuse me. Until next time, Commander. It is the nature of Sith to seek their own advancement. Members of the Dark Council most of all. Victory on Corellia benefits us all. It advances us all. Should Lord Savick or any other council member forget their priorities in my absence, the Empress grants you leave to remind them. In the past, Sith did as they pleased. In the past, we lost. Not this time. Lord Savick awaits you. Farewell, Commander. Come in, Lana. Our objective is Onderon. Take everyone we can spare. You'll be briefed on arrival. Understood. We'll depart for Onderon at once. Welcome to Onderon. This is the Royal Hunting Lodge of King Petrith, the current ruler of the planet. Onderon has been a Republic planet for centuries. Not that Petrith cares, he just wants to sell his planet's resources to anyone willing to pay. Which is where the Empire comes in. Exactly. Petrith's greed makes him an easy target for Savic to manipulate. But his nobles aren't playing along. Petrith may have the throne, but the nobles have control of the capital city and day-to-day -day operations. If they learn of his Imperial ties, he could be deposed. And what of the Republic fleet we're meant to destroy? Still gathering in orbit. They're preparing for refueling and resupply operations. Savik doesn't have the resources to attack the fleet head-on, so... We're pretty sure she's gonna trick Petrov into doing it for her. What are your impressions of Darth Savik and King Petrov? Savik is shrewd. Capable. She clearly prefers to keep herself out of any direct combat. Petrov is a fool, but controllable. He'll be no challenge. Ready to get started? I was surprised to find you absent upon my return from the Senate, my king. Do you expect to visit the capital soon? I will return when it suits me. We have matters to discuss. When do you think it would suit you to return? You overstep, Senator. It is your job to share my decisions with the Republic, not to question them. Do not bother me again! The nobles meddling was bad enough without Nebet to stir them up further. This is intolerable! Am I not king? Do I not rule this world? They clearly don't respect your power, dear king. And to send the senator back here... Perhaps the Republic believes you need more supervision. But you need not concern yourself. I have brought a powerful ally to ensure nothing comes of your enemy's plans. Allow me to introduce the Alliance Commander. I look forward to aiding you in your hour of need, King Petrov. Excellent, excellent. I'm sure you're quite capable. <sighs> Nebet's provocations have utterly drained me. A hearty meal will aid in my recovery. Do enjoy your visit. As you can see, the king all but eats from my hand. He is the key to our victory here. Onderon's capital is equipped with powerful defensive cannons that could easily destroy the Republic fleet in orbit. The cannons cannot be operated remotely, but if we spur the king into a civil war against his nobles, the distraction will suffice. We will infiltrate the capital amid the chaos of battle, seize control of the guns, and eradicate the Republic fleet before they even realize they're in danger. Sounds like a plan. What's our next step? Petrov already suspects that his nobles are moving against him. We need to push that paranoia further. Through intermediaries, I have hired a band of mercenaries to infiltrate the hunting lodge and assassinate the king. 
Fortunately, you will swoop in to defeat these deadly attackers just in time. You will save the king, earn his trust, and push him further from his nobles all at once. Can you tell me anything specific about these mercenaries? They're an interesting mix. Gand finds men with droids in support. An odd group, but they have a reputation for skill. If my calculations are accurate, the mercenaries will arrive any moment now. I'll be happy to guide you to them over the comm. Good luck. I take it the ruthless assassins have been dealt with. Now that the area has been secured, we can exit the safe room. This is an outrage! They think they can kill me? Me! I am the king of Andoran! Once they realized your strength, Nibet and her Republic conspirators knew they could no longer hope to control you. Killing you was their only option. But I'm the king! Uh, yes. I have deployed my droids to defend the premises. I assure you that you're now quite safe. Good, good, excellent. Well done, yes. My king, what of your cousins? They're still at the ancient proving grounds. And? What do they have to do with any of this? It's possible they're in danger too, good king. If your enemies are attacking you, they could also target your family. But, the commander who valiantly saved your life can certainly rescue your cousins as well. I will defend your cousins with my life, King Petrov. You are a worthy ally indeed. But this is also incredible, so intolerable. My blaster, I need my blaster! Oh, where did I put it? His gullibility exceeds even my greatest estimate. We have given him fear. Now, we must give him anger. Find the king's cousins at the ancient proving ground. Kill them. Then spread evidence that Nibet is to blame. Petrif will demand retribution, and we'll have our diversion. We should take them prisoner instead of killing them. They might be useful later. And Petrif won't know the difference. They're even duller than the king. I doubt the effort is worthy of the gain, but do as you please, Commander. The Onderon Wilds are treacherous. You should take a guide with knowledge of the terrain. Speed is crucial. The Republic fleet is about to begin refueling, but my plan is unfolding perfectly. Victory will be ours. Ah, Commander. I believe I've found a pair of local guides we can trust. Jakaro? C2-D4? <laughs> Better than they treated us, clearly. We really need this. Do you know your way around this planet? Have you forgotten my many tales of our service to the late Queen Lena? If only her son had inherited her wits, or grace, or looks. I shall leave you in their capable hands, Commander. Good luck. Ah, hands. Not one step closer. Identify yourself. King Petra sent me to rescue you all. You can lower your weapons. I knew it! Uh, we're saved! You'll escort us back to the lodge, yes? Ugh, I'm tired of the lodge. Let's go back to the capital. Oh, good thinking! Take us to the capital. They're not going anywhere with you. For Onderon! How dare you! Our cousin is the king! Come with me. Do what I tell you and you'll survive this. V very, very well. Lana, send a shuttle and guards. I have three prisoners for you. Understood. I'll inform Dar Savik of your success. Lana, out.
Commander, good. The King is attempting to rally support for an invasion of the capital. Your efforts were beyond successful. My plan unfolds precisely as scheduled. The King will rejoin us momentarily. Having realized he lacks the military support to reclaim his palace, he will ramble about traitors, demand the blood of his enemies, and remind us yet again that he is King. Then, with the simplest prodding, he will realize where to acquire the troops he needs. What do you have in mind? Imperial reinforcements? More support from the Alliance? Neither, actually. Observe. Traitorous! Cowardly! Ah, I want them all dead! The bet, the nobles, my worthless bannermen, the Republic, all of them! Dear King, surely your allies rallied to your cause. Some did, and they will receive a King's reward, but far too few. We cannot take the capital with such a small force. I only wish the Empire could provide more aid in these dark times. No one else on this world has the strength to challenge the nobles and their off-world comrades. It seems impossible to believe. Hmm. No. Onderon's strength is not yet lost. There is one group. They've hated the nobles for years. Tried to undermine all relations with off-worlders. I always dismiss them as backward and paranoid, but perhaps they were right all along. Uh, about the Republic, that is. They are known as the Untamed. Their leader is a beast lord, a Kuru. He's a keeper of Onderon's old ways. But he will not join us easily. Please, King Petrith. If we cannot supply the troops you so badly need, at least allow us to win this ally for you. The Koru and his untamed are proud and stubborn. They have no more love for me than the nobles. I'm not sure how you could secure their allegiance. Leave it to me, King Petrith. I'm certain I can persuade them to join your cause. Very well, then. You have proven your skill in battle. Let us see your skill in bargaining. I will prepare myself for war. Good fortune to you, friends. All too easy. The Untamed are Onderon's only other major group. Once they're weakened by joining this attack, they will pose no further threat to Imperial operations. There is a proper way to seek an audience with them. An old ritual. They love old rituals. Excellent. And one more thing. I've learned that Akuru's elder brother, Rutan, once trained as a Sith. He died fighting Republic forces on Hoth. The rest of the Untamed aren't aware of Brutan's service. To leave Onderon and serve off-worlders would be abhorrent to them. Perhaps a useful bit of leverage over Akuru. How did that happen, exactly? Brutan's master served Darth Jadis. I expect they hope to train him, then send him back to seize leadership of the Untamed and disrupt Onderon's Republic-friendly regime. Unfortunately, that plan never came to fruition. It would have made our task much simpler. I must finish preparing my own droids for the assault. It is best if any Imperial identifying components are removed. Good luck. The beacons are lit, and the ancient rites are observed. I am a Koru, Beast Lord of Onderon. You have shown your respect. Now speak your purpose here. King Petrif needs your warriors to help him attack the capital. We have heard of the King's squabbles with his nobles. Nothing on Onderon is hidden from this world's true masters. I'm not surprised that Petrif would seek outside help. His blade has never tasted the blood of his foes. But why should I help a fool against his enemies? I have no love for any of them. As you say. Petrif is a fool. No one will be surprised if he dies in the heat of battle. After that, you would be the most powerful man on the planet. 
manipulative, honorless, backstabbing. You are just like all off-worlders. But you aren't wrong. You have honored our traditions thus far. Honor them a final time, and I will consider your request. You will face my mightiest war beast in ritual combat. Then we will see what you are truly made of. Cross your lock. Feeding time. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly a bit impressed. <laughs> No, no, not that. The name, Crashalock. It's actually a pretty clever pun, if you speak ancient Onderonian. <laughs> Crashalock. Classic. <laughs> uh, fine display. You truly do possess the spirit of Onderon's warrior legacy. I will rally my best fighters. Your foolish king will have his war. Your help will be appreciated, and well rewarded. We need nothing to finally trample the fools of the capital beneath our heels. Is reward enough? Untamed! Hear me! The hour of our vengeance has come! Gather your weapons! Harness your beasts! Today, we show the galaxy the true strength of Onderon! I'm telling you, an idiot doesn't come up with a pun like that. Or speak a forgotten language. <coughs> Insane? Perhaps. Xenophobic? Bigoted? Murderous? All fair. But he's not an idiot. Not the bigger idiot, anyway. Debating relative idiocy, are we? We can't decide who's more foolish, Petrif or Akuru. Really, now? Anderon, your conquering king returns! After this day, none will question my power! <laughs> Excuse me? Uh, he said you are sure to win, oh mighty king. I am indeed. Our noble forces await us to war! Between Petrif and Akuru, the capital's security forces should be adequately distracted. While they attack the main gate, my droids will blow open the city wall near a sewer bypass. That will be your entry to the Orbital Defense Cannon's control center. Once you destroy the Republic fleet in orbit, our victory on Corellia will be one step closer. Where will you be during the assault? Remotely directing my droid commandos. They will supervise Petrov and Akuro to ensure they stay on task. After all, I wouldn't want to waste all this effort we've put into undermining Onderon's government. To that end, once the fleet is dealt with, you should regroup with Petrov and his troops. If you aid them in defeating Senator Nibet and her Republic allies, Petrif can rule unchallenged as the Empire's puppet. Onderon would be ours. You think he'll survive long enough to even reach the palace? With our aid? I have no doubt. I will deploy my droids to clear a path. Good luck, Commander. This will be a day long remembered. Defensive cannons activated. I'm targeting the Republic ships now. Honoran Patrol, this is Captain Person! Hold your fire! I repeat, hold fire! You are attacking friendly vessels! I say again, Honoran Control, you are hitting Allied ships! Cease fire! Cease fire! Objective complete. The Republic fleet has been destroyed. Outstanding. You have exceeded even my most aggressive calculations. Meanwhile, the Republic's chances at victory on Corellia have decreased at least 43%. Unfortunately, 
And perhaps unsurprisingly, the King's assault has not been as successful. I believe Petrif and Akoru have breached the palace, but the last of my droids have been destroyed. I have no visibility. Please, meet them in the throne room. Ensure the greatest possible victory for our empire. Savik out. Onderon will return to the old ways, the pure ways. Your blood will wash away centuries of desecration. You don't fight for Onderon. You fight for your own bigoted agenda. You fight, and you lose. His loss is my gain, Nabet. I've beaten you. I've won! Did you really believe you could steal the throne of the great King Petrif? Steal your throne? What in blazes are you talking about? No sense lying now. Your treason is over. I've won. I've confirmed it with my own sensors. Total destruction of all Republic ships in orbit. And without a single Imperial casualty. You have served your Empire well indeed, Savik. Empress Asina will reward your ingenuity and loyalty. Savik has done an excellent job. Her plan was well conceived and flawlessly executed. Without you, this would not have been possible. I am fortunate to have worked alongside you. If only Petrif had survived. Onderon's resources could have been a great benefit to us. Resources are not our most urgent concern. Savik, you will depart for Corellia at once. Yes, Lord Malgus. Another fleet of Republic reinforcements is docking at Megshar, as Darth Valron predicted. That will be your next target. Ensure another victory. And the Republic will have no hope of stopping us. So, what's our next stop? Set course for Mekshar. Ah! We know it well! A mined-out asteroid converted into a fueling station. <coughs> We'd love to join you. If you think your alliance has room, of course. Please? Please? It's been a pleasure working with you again. Welcome to the Alliance. Wonderful! <coughs> I have a shuttle prepped and ready, shall we? Commander, welcome to Mekshar, outlaw crossroads of the galaxy. Darth Shah, I'm pleased we finally have an opportunity to work together. I've heard such delicious things about you. I serve Darth Varon, head of Imperial Logistics and Civil Order. He asked that I aid in supervising this operation due to my experience with the galaxy's criminal element. This intriguing specimen is a member of the Brothers our key allies on the station. They've provided the Empire with quality slave labor for many years. It is our great honor to take those without value and give them value, to give labor to those without purpose. Why don't you tell me your plans for Mekshar? As direct as your reputation. Our goal here is more complex than it might seem. Let's step into the operations center to discuss the details.
Wait. There's some... <gasps> what? Blazes was that? Chase them down and find out. You're kidding, right? Lord Shah still in one piece? Oh. Oh, yes. The force was strong with him. Pity he didn't stand a chance. For a Sith to defy the Empress and attack you during a top priority mission. You must have done something truly stirring. I don't remember making any Sith angry lately. None that are alive, at least. Perhaps he simply wanted a challenge. Fascinating. Ah, well. You handled him easily enough. Best if we return to the mission at hand. Shall we? Greetings. I am Darth Varon of the Dark Council. It is a pleasure to have you join us for this mission. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt? Dreadful. I do apologize. Are there no guards posted? No security? How could someone like that get in here unnoticed? You're quite right. I shall personally ensure that security measures are tripled for the remainder of our time here. Now then, Char, let's go over what we've planned. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling. Unfortunately, that wouldn't fulfill our Empress's command. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, they'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this, and we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. Then we lure them in and attack while they transfer the fuel. Just so, my friend. Major Anri, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Huts, till their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Heartbreaker, she led the revolt. Well, she wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won. So they put in a failsafe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit, make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks, fry every ship in the fleet. If the pulse will already stop them, why bother with the extra step? If we have the opportunity to obliterate our enemy, why do any less? The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. Fortunately, you have the perfect opportunity to get started. Brother? Huffbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Huffbreaker's auction. Ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel, and help the Republic slip its head into the noose. Consider it done, Lord Char. If any other developments occur in the meantime, we will inform you at once. And watch your back. At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Best of luck. Fancy meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. 
I'll be glad to have any information you can give me. Just doing our part. If you're ready, let's head inside. All right, first up, Hotbreaker. Revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune. But that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mech Shah safe is her top priority. All right. Darth Shah said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. His people handle maintenance for all of Mech Shah. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his vote to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Hutbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the Brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The Brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Walt. One of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Darma... Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gun runners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Is there anything else I should know? We'll keep our eyes open for any other big players, but I'm sure you can handle these guys. Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves. Now, we're masters. Imagine what we can become in just a few more years! All we've got to do is stay us. Be what we've been so far. We keep the peace, we keep the balance, and we keep moving forward! We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All we see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things, who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. <laughs> Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy this speech? I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please, enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? I have your Sith friend's word on it. 
The Sith aren't known for keeping their word or keeping the peace. Such cynicism, Commander. Meet Tawi there, Jedi Knight. It's so rare that we can step away from the wall for a peaceful chat. Just because nobody's shooting at each other yet, doesn't mean the war isn't here. The two of us have a prior appointment, I'm afraid. Please, enjoy the auction. I know you helped Malgus on Osis. You picked the wrong side. And you're going to regret it. The Republic is never going to win. You must see that. What I see is one more Imperial lapdog. Master Jedi. See you around. Keep on walking, I got nothing to say to imp lovers. Why so hostile? Can't we have a civil conversation? No, I didn't watch my buddies die in the cold of space just to make chit-chat with their killers. Or the killer's friends, whichever you are. Huh, I need another drink. Chonky faguta de obora geoto kakise. De mote que caça, do bonilis de oto. Chai con kunta chichai. It depends on how well you treat your friends. Ma ki puna male tutta, o mishka. Conchita chichakta. The kusa mala chikuta, i kosa mose ala chuta. Koba ne puta, tai se jeskusku. I'm curious. What's your stance on fueling the Republic ships? Kasuyali koyarang kenka kurum. Klis kataka, yos osko uko pokuta. Makipuna mali tuta, o nishka. Mitisa roda, kopana chaporko utman gisa. It'd be better to discuss this in private. Bampaula kavaji oto. What do you have in mind? Chubula wa mi chade sula. Kafstu undile jio hola lukuta. Tungi machechu kuti nanki he. Wana wa de bloto wichawa. What do you want? To the point. Let me return the favor. I'm looking for some help. Interested? You think Darmanda want to fight and die in your little war? You're out of your mind. We're doing just fine on Meksha. I'm here to get your help with our operations on Meksha. No fighting needed. Interesting. Depending on the details. Look, this isn't a good place to do business. Too many years. Maybe the canteen will there, and we'll see. Ah, there you are. Have you learned everything you need to complete our plan? Yes, I'm done here. Splendid. I hope your time was... illuminating. How'd I do? Too scruffy? Just scruffy enough? That's Nova Blade gear. What are you planning? Gonna do a hit and run on Jot's turf a bit later. Need to keep the old crank from realizing who's behind it. Just need a few more sets of gear for the rest of my boys and we'll be off. I've rather loudly let the actual Nova Blades, as well as the Exchange, hear that I'm hiring extra muscle. Word should spread quickly. I'm on my way to meet with one of the crews we need to vote for the refueling. Wonderful. My master knew you were the one for the job. Well then, we all have our tasks before us. Shall we reconvene in the Brothers' territory later? Well, well, you showed up. <laughs> I prefer doing business here. Better drinks, no dress code, industrial waste disposal on the back if there's trouble. Let's pick up where we left off at the party. Well, let's start here. What exactly do you want from me? I want you to vote in favor of selling fuel to the Republic. You want them to refuel? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, but I don't need to. You know how this works. You do a little something for me first, 
then I'll consider it. How can I be sure you will hold up your end? Vote first, then we'll discuss payment. Or, maybe we don't make a deal at all. You're the one who came to me, remember? Here's my situation. You know that slimy little rhodium Vink? Runs a smuggling crew? He's been raising prices on me, and I'm sick of it. Profits are thin enough without that bug-eyed scammer button in. I want him and his bodyguards dead. No witnesses, no chance the Darmander catches the blame. I know the guy who's next in line. Done business together. He'll hire some of my guys as bodyguards and I'll be in a nice spot. So, there it is. Take out Veek, and the vote's yours. You can count on me. Veek is as good as dead. Take this communicator and get somewhere out of the way. Buzz Veek with it, and he'll think Hutbreaker's calling for him. Use it to call me when the job's done. Once I see it with my own eyes, we'll be golden. Miti Saroda, Copana Chaporco Utman Gisa? Wonkiki Ato Chakampa Noka, Chisa Bicha. Job's done. Good. The boat's yours. Good luck with your war. If you decide you're interested in mercenary work for the Empire. <laughs> if I get that stupid, you'll be the first one I call. See you when I see you. Commander, am I interrupting anything? I just finished convincing Indigo to support our plan. What do you need? Perfect. Remember when I mentioned that hit and run on Jot's territory earlier? Well, I've got my squad ready to move. Last thing we need is you. What do you mean? Jot's crew handles maintenance for everything in the station, including the failsafe system that roasts the fuel. He'll have a schematic for the failsafe on his computers. We need that data so we can modify the system to juice it up like the boss wants. My team hits Jot's place first, so he thinks pirates are trying to run off with some of his repair droids. While he's out chasing us around, you sneak into his HQ and grab the data. Sound good? Send me the coordinates and I'll make my way there. You got it. Before we dive into this op, I have to tell you. I feel like Valron's playing games here. Treating those creep slavers like they actually matter. Hell, playing nice with any of the locals. Boss's eyes are on more than just the mission, I'm sure of it. Members of the Dark Council always look out for themselves. At least, as much as they look out for the Empire. Baron and Shah especially. Alright, I've burned enough of your time. I'll move my people into position and we'll be ready to start when you are. Amri out. Major Anri, I'm downloading the failsafe schematics now. Copy that. Then we finally have the old fool locked down. Gonna snag some droids and make our getaway before he gets loose again. Henry out. Thanks to your impressive efforts, the vote has gone as we intended. Mekshar will sell fuel to the Republic. Their ships are preparing to dock now. All without the slightest idea of our true plans. Well done. We can begin our attack as soon as their ships are locked in. I've gone over the failsafe schematics with my boys. We'll break into the maintenance shafts and hit the four main emitters all at once. Someone else will have to throw the big switch, though. Can't activate the failsafe from inside. Has to be done from the dock's control center. Leave that to me. We're of the same mind. Excellent. Before you begin, I will load the remainder of our troops into assault shuttles and make a diversionary strike on the docks themselves. That should serve to distract the bulk of their defenders. Still, do be careful as you approach the failsafe controls, darling. Don't worry. You won't need to distract them for long. Splendid. Oh, to see their ships gutted by the very fuel that they were so desperate to acquire. This will be a glorious day for the Empire. A day to be exceeded only by our forthcoming victory on Corellia. Now then, 
Everyone to your tasks. Take no prisoners, and above all else, enjoy yourselves. I've reached the failsafe controls. And this is the Vulcan modified. We're ready. Perfect. Activate the failsafe. Firing now. The console shows that all fuel has been neutralized. But there isn't enough power to ignite it. Disappointing. But the task is done. Those ships aren't going anywhere. All forces return to base. You made an all-out military assault on my docks! Meksha isn't Imperial territory! You don't get to ignore my rules! It is true that our forces attack their ships, as they do in all corners of the galaxy. But it was your council that voted to put them in that position. And it was your weapon that disabled their ships. No! They'll never think... That we have been working together since the beginning? That is exactly what they'll think. Why else would you be meeting us now? You have made an enemy of the Republic. Your neutrality will be meaningless. But... You are not alone in these trying times. Your affiliation with the Empire will gradually strengthen over time. I believe you could become our key refueling station in this sector. If you learn to behave. You played them from the beginning. Very impressive. Oh, that's no way to speak about our partners. Our enthusiastic partners. You are enthusiastic, aren't you? Yes! Splendid. You may go now. Varon, Shah, report. The Republic fleet was completely disabled. They will not reach Karelia in time to interfere. Then your mission is complete. Prepare to extract all forces. With no further Republic reinforcements to contend with, our victory on Karelia is all but guaranteed. I'm transmitting coordinates now. We will meet to discuss our strategy for the attack immediately. Malgus out. It has been a great pleasure working with you, Commander. I shall look forward to our next mission together. My lords. Orders just came through. Looks like I'm backing you up on Corellia. Heard they have good whiskey. Might try and grab some. Don't bother. Kalsinor's blends are just as good, and much simpler to find in Imperial space. Maybe so. But you know what they say about a looted bottle. The truest taste of victory. Oh, I like this one. I've enjoyed working with her so far. Major Henri, this is Lana Benico. Charmed. Hey, I saw the Sith leave. Am I clear to come in now? One of yours? Most of the time. Are we good to go or what? This is not the best neighborhood. Lead the way. Commander, everyone else is with the fleet en route, save the Empress, of course. She's back on Dromund Kass. I'll connect us. Commander, I'm pleased to see you again. I am gratified that my Dark Council has worked alongside you so efficiently. Such productive cooperation is crucial to our Empire's future. Your successes against the Republic reinforcements have all but guaranteed our victory on Corellia. But we must not become overconfident. Walk me through your plan for the battle. 
Given that the enemy is unaware of the details of our strategy, their fleets will assume a flexible defensive formation in geosynchronous orbit above the Meridian Complex shipyard. Contrary to their expectations, I will take most of our ships to the far side of Corellia, forcing at least some of their vessels to break formation and engage us. And how will you ensure that the enemy chases you? Indiscriminate bombardment of the planet's surface. Cities, industrial centers, resource caches. We will be impossible to ignore. We cannot massacre civilians purely as a diversion. We certainly can. Regardless, civilians are not a resource our enemy is short on. But Corellia is full of others they can hardly afford to lose. Focus your attacks accordingly. As you wish. We will target industrial facilities, resource caches, and other strategic assets to draw the enemy away from the shipyard. With their formation broken, our technological advantages will allow us to punch through the remaining defenders and conduct a surface assault on the complex. The last of our dreadnoughts equipped with Isotope 5 reactors will escort the ground assault force through the enemy's blockade. Meanwhile, the silencers commanded by Moff Pyron will destroy any Republic capital ships that attempt to interfere. Tell me more about these silencers. Harrow and Dreadnoughts, modified to carry state-of-the-art Mega Laser main cannons. They can destroy enemy capital ships in a single shot. Once we reach the planet's surface, we will attack the Meridian Complex from multiple directions, seize its control center, and disable the shields protecting it from orbital bombardment. From there, our ships reduce the complex to slag, and the Republic's best hope for victory crumbles into dust. An impressive and well-conceived plan. But what role will the Alliance and its incomparable commander play? The silencers are vulnerable to starfighter attack. With the Alliance fleet to escort them, that risk is all but nullified. As for the commander, I would welcome such a deadly ally in my surface attack group. I'm ready to launch right away. Rendezvous with these coordinates. Our attack begins as soon as you arrive, Commander. Let our enemies remember why they fear the power of the Sith Empire. Let the entire galaxy know our strength. My boys have a ship fueled and ready for us. They're practically drooling. Most of them have never seen a battle this big. They'll be competing for the most kills. Care to join the pool? Winner takes any interesting gear or other goodies we manage to plunder on the way out. Count me in. I can't lose. That's the spirit. Everyone's gonna go twice as hard when they find out they're competing with you. Shall we? Commander. Proceed to these coordinates to join our assault formation. Our ships are in position and report ready. Let the battle begin. with bombardment, targeting infrastructure and industrial objectives only. Silencer Group, move to your designated firing points. Surface Attack Group, advance. Isotope 5 generators at maximum output. Engines at 322%, shields at 563%. Energy levels like that, flying this close together? Our little ships will never even show up on their scopes. We're all but invisible. You're concentrating fire! Trying to pick us off one by one! Ignore them. Maintain course and speed. Shields! Failing! We have reached the Republic's defensive line. All ships, break formation. Scatter! They can't shoot at us now. If they miss, they'll hit their own people on the surface. And what are we supposed to do if they don't miss? Die, I guess. Same as any other day. Surface attack group, proceed to your landing coordinates. The final phase of the battle is about to begin. There are more ground cannons than anticipated. All shuttles proceed to secondary drop zones. Squad, 
You're watching our backs. Republic's gonna send everyone they've got to reinforce this shipyard, so be ready to rack up some big kill counts. Contest starts now. A point for every kill. Officers are five, vehicles and Jedi count for ten. And if you die, you're out. So don't get reckless out there. Understood? We won't let you down, Major. You never do. Hop to it. Ready, Commander? Let's tear down a shipyard. Don't shoot! I'm a pacifist. Who are you? I'm Theron Sedrax. Obviously. Preeminent expert in exotechnology and senior design engineer for this facility. Theron, huh? Don't you have a buddy named Theron? Another Theron? He probably spells it the stupid way. Presumably, you're here to seize control of the facility? Or perhaps to sabotage the defensive systems? As long as you cooperate, we won't hurt you. A very reasonable position. I would love to make a grand speech about never giving up and choosing death over dishonor, but the truth is, the situation is out of my hands. All defensive systems, shields, anti-aircraft guns, and so on, have been transferred to the secondary control station near the top of the spire. All of this equipment is useless now. So there's really nothing to be accomplished here, and nothing I can help you with. Commander. Apparently, the shield controls have been transferred to another control center, higher up in the spire. Is that so? None of the computers will respond, my lord. And I'm seeing some lightsaber burns over here. That was the Jedi, Tau Adair. She's commanding the last of the facility's guards. She severed the connection as soon as control was transferred, then headed upstairs. Then we have our target. Commander, on Osus, we united our strength to crush the Jedi who tried to oppose the Empire. It's time we repeated that triumph. Join me. And together we will win a victory for the Empire that will change the course of the galaxy forever. Together, we'll be unstoppable. Major, hold this position, no matter the cost. Yes, my lord. And what about him? The scientist who built this facility could be very useful. We should keep him alive. Whatever you say. I should have stayed on Nar Shaddaa. We'll keep you covered. Good luck up there. No. Steady. Fear is a deadly weapon, but only if you let them have it. I was hoping we'd run into each other again, Jedi. We've got your back, Tal. Fools. Not one of you could hope to defeat us. You're not fighting one of us. You're fighting all of us. Then you will all die. You are beaten. Your shipyard will be obliterated. Your Republic will crumble. And your fellow Jedi will be hunted to extinction. Your destruction is inevitable. As inevitable as gravity! Structural damage detected. Evacuation protocols recommended. I'm disabling the shields now. Warning. Defensive shields have been disabled. Warning. Raven to command. The shields are down. We're evacuating now. All ships, target the Meridian complex. Fire!
Commander, allow me to congratulate you on a job well done. Your victory on Corellia is an incomparable testament to your value as an ally of the Empire. Rumors suggest great things are soon to come for you. Do enjoy. Any rewards are well earned. What kind of rumors? What are you talking about? I can say no more. Farewell, Commander. It was skillfully done, to be sure. You truly embody the finest aspects of the Sith Doctrine. Coordination and focus gave us this victory. When we fight as one united empire, we cannot fail. Do not forget, our unity extended beyond even our own empire. Commander, you are a welcome sight. Do join us. With their shipyard destroyed, the Republic has already retreated from countless worlds. We've been watching in real time. Terribly entertaining. I will develop plans to extend our lines and claim the most valuable of these territories in a matter of weeks. A shame that Malgus couldn't enjoy the fruits of his efforts. His recovery will take some time, but rest assured he will return to the fold soon enough. Wonderful. Victory over our ancient enemies grows closer by the minute. What is your plan moving forward? We should speak in private, Commander. The rest of you are dismissed. Despite our victory, I find that the Dark Council is best used for administrative purposes, and not to conducting critical wartime activities. The Empire needs an organization capable of rapid, decisive action, operating outside the Dark Council's purview. A group answering directly to me. My predecessor had such a group, The Hand, though its members were insane, murderous fanatics. I will construct my own Hand, formed of the Empire's best and most loyal frontline personnel. My first choice would be to recruit the Hand's initial ranks from your Alliance. To have Odessan officially join the Empire and your members become full citizens. Covert operations would be split out of Darth Zarian's intelligence organization and placed under your direct supervision as Keeper. Of course, you may forego all of this and maintain your Alliance's independence if you choose. I would still have you working directly with my hand, rather than the Dark Council. The choice is yours. Will you return to the Empire? Or remain the Alliance commander? I've worked hard to build my Alliance. I want to keep it as it is. So be it, Commander. I had hoped that Malgus might act as our liaison going forward. But in his absence, I will find another suitable candidate. We will contact you very soon, Commander. For now, farewell. They minimized the damage this time, but what about the next time? I can't see the future, Theron. Well, not often, at any rate. Not exactly reassuring. But I'll admit, it could have been a lot worse. I said I'd give him a shot, so I'll give him a shot. I confess, being fully funded by the Empire might have made our daily operations easier. But I have no qualms with our current arrangement. I'm glad we're keeping some distance personally. There's supposedly a pretty crazy party happening up in the officer's lounge. I can behave, if you want to go. <coughs> Behaving is overrated. Hey, thanks again for finding me that bottle. Of course. If you need anyone to share it, count on it. Mind if I borrow her a minute? We can catch up later. Pretty crazy stuff, huh? Osus wasn't even that long ago. 
We've already made it through so much. That's war, I suppose. Still, most grunts aren't lucky enough to work with the deadliest fighter in the entire galaxy. Which reminds me, congratulations, contest winner. Your prize is in the mail. I'd like to dedicate my killing achievements to the many, many people who've tried to get in my way over the years. Never miss an opportunity for practice. I actually came to talk about something else. Back on Corellia, I didn't actually make it out with the rest of the shuttles. Got caught under some falling debris and all the chaos. I wouldn't have made it out at all if they hadn't lent me a hand. Who? An old ally you never met. You're the one who tried to kill me on Mekshar. Don't take it personally. It was a test. Nothing more. A test you actually passed. What are you talking about? I am Lord Scourge, once a loyal servant of the Empire. Kira Carson, Jedi Knight. Not thrilled to be here. All three of us have fought the same enemy. The former Sith Emperor, Tenebrae, Vitiate, Valkorian, whatever you wish to call him. We know he was once a part of you. And we both felt his destruction, but he has always been a master of deceit. We had to be sure that he wasn't lingering in your mind, hidden, waiting to come out only in the most dire circumstances. Now, we are sure. I don't see Jedi and Sith cooperating very often outside of my alliance. How did you end up working together? That is a very long story. We can't risk saying more here. Let's travel to your base on Odessan. It should be safe for us to talk there. About what? The final, gruesome weapon of Tenebrae. What a mess. I have removed all compromised components. Where shall we begin repairs? Checking the failsafe is always first. Emperor Sassina had us double the explosive charges after the Osis mission. It was a real pain to hook up. Yes, I examined the device after removing it. Highly complex. You removed it? What are you thinking? It was rendered inoperable due to damage. Replacement is required. Interestingly, it was the only damage not caused by crushing impacts. The exterior perimeter was actually cut by a high heat implement. Oh no. Give me the droid. And a ship. 